Hey guys, welcome to TBM's A New Year, A New Me. One of the reasons we're doing this webinar is because come time this year, come the end of the year, we are exhausted, we feel like we're running on empty fumes and we're so busy trying to wrap up the end of our work year as well as start to focus on how much time we're going to spend with family and when and where that we get so consumed about dispersing our energy in those areas that we actually don't take enough time to focus on our goals and reflecting on the year we've had. And this is really a time when we need to reflect on the year we've had. We need to take time to make goals for the new year, see where we might have fallen short this year, and make plans and provisions for that. So TBM's got an ebook called Seven Steps to Creating a Life-Changing Breakthrough. And that is what this webinar is really based on today. And those seven steps are really a catalyst for change in really taking control of your future and also leading yourself. Now, those of you who are familiar with TBM will know that we are a leadership development and empowerment company. And leadership doesn't mean getting followers. It's not a title. It's not a job. Leadership is about being able to lead yourself so that you can contribute more to the lives of others. That's really what it's about. And so when we talk about a new year, a new me, we want to talk about the power of choice. So those of us who have so those of us who, who have experienced that time in our life where we are overwhelmed and we know there's something more, we know that change is necessary, we just don't know how to get there. And we may have had challenging childhoods, challenging pasts, or we might be challenged in our present circumstances. We need to make a choice to raise our standards. We need to make a choice to persevere. And really, it's that decision to raise your standards and level up. It really makes a difference in people who are successful and people who are unsuccessful. So the power of choice is our first step in creating a life-changing breakthrough. And if you think of this, people who have inspired us all around the world, people like Oprah, people like Tony Robbins, people like Nelson Mandela, Princess Diana, it was a decision, a choice to raise their own standards. And that's what inspires us as human beings. It's when we see leaders who, despite their circumstances, decide to step up in their own life. So there was a time in my life where I was just really overwhelmed by past trauma, as well as why I couldn't overcome that trauma. And instead of going on a journey of personal development, I went on a journey of victim mentality where I blamed everybody else. I was so angry and I really went down into a spiral of depression and substance abuse. And what I realized at some point was there had to be more to the pain that I'd experienced in my life. There had to be a bigger reason. Now, I'm not saying that I believe bad things happen for a reason. But I do believe that when we come to the decision to take control of our lives, to step up and to take our power back, that bringing meaning to our pain and our painful past, that is a step in the right direction. And that empowers us to really take control of the narrative so that we start to write the rest of our story. Now, when we talk about the power of decision to raise our standards and to create a better life, for ourselves. We've all had those moments where we get so motivated by the pain that we've experienced that we say, this is it, I've made the decision, I'm never going back there. And what we sometimes don't realize, anybody who set a New Year's resolution and not succeeded in the New Year's resolution or goals will remember this in the past, is that when your why isn't strong enough, when your reason isn't strong enough for going after a goal, it's very easy to give up the rewards of that goal. So some of us might have things like, I want to lose five kilos in the new year, you know, because I'd like to wear a pair of jeans. Now, it sounds like a nice goal and it sounds like a specific goal, but the problem with that goal is the why isn't strong enough. It's not a life-changing driving force and being able to create a strong reasoning for your goal and why you're going after that decision is really what makes the difference in when you are faced with obstacles, do you persevere or do you give up? So why is our driving force of change? So things to establish your why's once you've got 
the decision. You've made your choice to level up in your life and take control of your narrative and your destiny. Creating your strong why is essential. And in order to do that, you want to ask yourself some self-reflecting questions. For example, why is it important to me that I achieve this? This is one of the most powerful questions we can ask ourselves. Now, I recommend doing a seven levels deep exercise where you basically ask yourself why it's important to you over and over and over until you come to a base answer, a core answer that really speaks to your soul. So for example, if I said, I really want to have a successful company, why is it important to me to have a successful company? It's important to me to have a successful company because I'd like to have independence over my life. Why is it important for me to have independence over my life? So that I'm able to live a full life where I'm able to provide for my family. So as you can see, just by those questions, asking myself that question over and over again, there's a deeper meaning to why you want what you want. Now, many of us will set goals starting with a superficial want. So it will be, I want to lose weight, I want to make more money, I want to get a certain job. But all of those wants have much deeper meanings to us. And when we understand why that superficial goal essentially is so important, we actually discover our essential goal. And that's going to help you when things are challenging, when things are tough, you can look at your core why and go forward with that. Once we've established our why, so once you have aligned your soul with your deep, meaningful why, why you're going after this goal, why you want to make the decision to level up, why you want to take control of your narrative, why you want to lead your destiny, is we need to create smart goals. Now, any of us who've made goals, again, I'm going to bring up New Year's resolutions, we make those goals at the beginning of the year, this is what I'm going to do, and as soon as our energy flails or we have a little hiccup in the road, we often want to give up. And often what we haven't done is we've created a, a goal, but we haven't created a SMART goal. Now the difference between a goal and a SMART goal is just a goal is like a dream. So it's like something you wish is going to happen. You put it down on paper, I want this to happen, or I'm going to X, Y, and Z. It's still a wish. And until we make that a SMART measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goal. It's not SMART. And so that is what a SMART goal stands for. It's a specific goal. So we want to make sure that we're very specific with what we're trying to achieve. Otherwise, it makes the goal too big. So saying something like, I'd like to have more money, that's really broad. If I gave you one rand today, you would have one rand more than you did a second ago. But that's probably not as much as you're wanting to grow in terms of financial success. So you need to be very specific with the numbers, with what you are looking for, with the details. I want a house. Well, you could probably get a house, but what kind of house do you want? Which neighborhood? So make that goal very specific. Make it measurable, which means as you get closer towards that goal, are you able to mark which means if you're able to get to that goal, and, uh, as you said, which means as you start to move towards that goal, can you measure points that are flag points? You know, so flags where you're like, yes, I've achieved this step towards that goal. I've achieved that step towards that goal. So you're actually able to look back and say, yes, with the energy I've put in, I am taking steps towards that goal. That's what measurable means. You need to be able to measure how close you're getting to that goal in order to know should you be putting more energy there or less energy there. So achievable means is it something you can actually do? So are you capable of doing it? Do you have the necessary resources? If you don't have the necessary resources to achieve a goal, then your goal needs to change slightly to first achieve those necessary resources in order to get your big smart goal. We'll talk about action plans later and this will really help understand the small steps towards taking a goal.